Now the expenses is going to be the category with the most stuff in it usually, and it's the area that most differs from company to company. So this is where you're going to have to spend some time and start to think if you're setting up a new company file, what kind of expense accounts do you want? And you could go through here and see the kind of expense accounts that the online system sets up in general often has a lot of sub accounts, which could be good, could be bad. You might go through it and say, hey, I don't want sub accounts for like legal and professional possibly. Maybe you just want an accounting and a lawyer account and have them separate and not be sub accounts. Or maybe you want them under the sub accounts. So it really can be customized to your particular preferences. And same for the maintenance here. So maintenance and repairs, I would call it repairs and maintenance, right? Maintenance and repairs sounds backwards to me. I don't know why and no one says that, do that. It doesn't roll off the tongue that way. But in any case, then you've got your sub accounts in here. Maybe you just want repairs and maintenance. So there's a lot of that sub account stuff uh, and, and detail in the default chart of accounts that's typically given to you. Uh, when you first set up a company file so you got to go through it utilities is the same kind of thing and determine what you actually want now remember how i would do that would typically be that for most people i would recommend you use their default chart of accounts to the extent that you can making adjustments possibly to like the depreciable assets and stuff up front and whatnot but with the expense accounts try to use what they have in general and then as you're doing the data input you you want to think do I think there's a better account? Would I would I like to change the name? Maybe I, I like the account, but I don't like maintenance and repairs. I want it to be repairs and maintenance. Well, then I would go into here and just change the name of it. I would go into here and edit it, change the name. I'm not going to make another account called repairs and maintenance and have one called maintenance and repaired because then it's likely that I'm going to post stuff to both of those and, and kind of mess things up. So, or if I do that, I want to make sure I delete the other one, right? And then if there's no account at all that relates to what I want, because I have a special account that I want in my industry, then I would add the new account as we go. And then after doing like a month or two, at least of data input, then you can go back in here and look at all these accounts and see which ones are you not using, which ones are inactive, and then make them possibly inactive so that the data input in the future will be easier. And you can also then go into these items and say, which of these items do I like being reported over here on in the income statement as sub accounts and which of these maybe are are too tedious to be sub accounts and just adjust the sub accounts and you can do that easily like if this was a sub account if i had something posted to it and i edit it and i just remove the sub account not a problem it's not going to throw you out of balance or anything like that you can remove the sub account and then over here it'll it'll show the difference so you should be okay to do that